Hey, it's Ginger Boy. Welcome back once again to Animal Crossing. So, again, the first thing I'm going to do is go back into my house and see if my turnip has changed at all. Which it is not. I think it's 10 days in total. No, I think. Oh, I think I just ruined that. Um. Maybe putting it outside. I don't remember if you can just put it outside or not. I know you can put it on your floor in your house, but I completely ruined that because I pressed the uh, Z button on the nunchuck to uh, run instead of the B button on the Wiimote. And the Z button is also pick items up. So I kinda screwed that one up real bad. Anyway. Hello, little dung beetle. Oh yeah, I have a slingshot. I forgot about that. And my phone's buzzing. Okay. Well, let me run around. Kind of try and find fossil pits. Oh, Squirrely! I forgot about you. See my house key? I seem to have dropped it somewhere. I'm spending a lot of time looking at my reflection in the water. Oh, okay. So this is a new item, or a new thing. So the villagers sometimes will wander around their house um, looking for their key. That means they have dropped their key in the water. You have to actually fish it out. Um, if they are on the top portion of the map, their key will be in the top portion of the river. If they're on the bottom portion of the map, their key will be in the bottom portion of the river. I believe the waterfall has like a higher chance of having the key near it, something like that. Or like the pool areas. Uh, so I'm going to look around and I want to say they're about that size. I don't think they're the smallest, but they're like the medium, or not the medium, they like, almost the smallest. Come on. One more. There you go. And I got a pond smelt again. I don't like pond smelts. They're super common. Like, way, way over common. So, I am, besides looking for the money rock and fossils, going to probably for the most part check the river for the lost key because that would be nice to find also um events like that where villagers can't find their key or you know things like that it happens when you don't actually talk to a villager for a while and it's the game trying to uh encourage you to actually talk to your villagers so, that is why that would have appeared. Also, this guy... Yeah, I wasn't fast enough. Oh no, I was fast enough. Join back into the rock! There we go. If they hit a house or the rock, they'll actually uh, disappear in it. Okay, what do I have? Pink box. Oh yeah, I got that from like Lost and Found. That shovel slingshot. Paper, bug, fish. There we go. Much better. Also, I can probably put my bug net away. I don't know why I have it out. The, uh... I pretty much have, as I've said, have essentially all the bugs I can get for now. There are two more that I could potentially get. Neither are super important to get right now because they're available all year. Um... And that's what I need the turnip for, uh, but not getting the stuff out of the turnip like I would like. So I think, it looks like anyway, fossils may be on the lower half, except for this one right here. I take that back. Fossils are still around in different places. Um, I just have to look a bit harder. Okay. So now to look for the key. 
again. <gasps> That's a giant fish. I want it. I know. I know what it is. I want it. Which I've already caught this one, but still, big giant fish. I want it because it sells for a ton of money. Come on. One. Oh man. No! Ah, oh, I had one more. It was twitchy. Oh. That was a string fish. And even though I've already gotten a string fish. They sell for a ton of money. They're super rare. And if you have the chance to catch one, you want to do it. Oh, I found a tin can. It's not a can. Or it's a can. It's not a can't. Ha <laughs> ha. Joke. Joke puns. Hmm. Yes. Joke puns. The best type of thing. Not really. Oh, don't do that, little fish, eh? No, don't do that either. Ugh. I do much prefer the fish in New Leaf because they are so much more predictable than these ones are. These ones are not predictable, really. It kind of bugs me. Okay. Let's look around again. Any fishy fishies. So I might go to the lower half and look for the fossils. But that is. I was going to say to be determined, but I'm just going to do that right now. And then spend time trying to get uh, the key. I sh shouldn't pick my flowers. I really shouldn't do it kind of out of habit. But uh, I really shouldn't pick them. How is my little rose garden over here doing? One of them is wilting. Which means I should get my watering can out. Ugh. I do not like the fact that I have a tin can. Or the fact that I can't really tell when I water all my flowers. I wish they had the water drops and the sparkles, like New Leaf has, because that would make it so much nicer and so much easier to tell if I've gotten them all. But yes, I'm going to try and get my rose garden to grow. I think one of one of the things I'm going to aim for and try and do is get, uh, I think it's blue roses. Um, because you can get, uh, tons of different types of roses. Uh, one of them I think is like blue, which is super hard to get. There's, uh, black, I believe. I don't think there might be purple. I don't think there are. And then there's gold roses, which are probably the hardest, not hardest ones to get, maybe the hardest ones to get, because you have to get uh, black roses first. And black roses are, if I remember right, fairly difficult to actually grow. Um, but I know blue roses are also really difficult to grow. But I can't remember, I want to say that's not a new leaf thing, it might be. I know that's that's one of the things I try and do in New Leaf is get blue blue roses because I really like them. They're just super hard to grow. And once you get two of them, then you can start breeding them to get more. And uh, it goes. I mean, it, it just speeds up so severely once you get two of them. But until you get to, it's a very, very tedious, slow, slow process. Hello, Mousy. I don't feel like talking to you right now. I 
feel like looking to see if I can find the last fossil. Which, granted, there may not be a last fossil. I just want to believe there is. Fossil collecting is super slow in this game. There's New Leaf, there's like four fossils every day you can collect. They're not hard to find. Yeah, I, I really do have a, a soft spot for New Leaf. Um, I had Wild World, and I played Wild World a lot. I got everything, collected everything, and then, you know, like normal, uh, I stopped playing it. I was like, okay, well, I've done everything, I'm going to stop playing it now. Nothing, nothing else to do. So I did that with uh, Wild World, and then uh, I tried, I've tried playing the GameCube version um, but that thing is so, so it's like you have a square and then you can go into the rest of the town, but it transitions, uh, what's it called? Like old school Nintendo games, you hit the edge of the screen, it moves over, uh, you get a new square of the map, super slow. Now, I'm not a fan of that one that much at all, but uh, New Leaf, on the other hand, because after Wild World, I was like, okay, this one came out. I'm like, well, I like I like the uh, ability to play it on the go and play it mobile because it's like I don't have time uh, most of the time to sit down and play a console game. Luckily, I have much more time this year than I have in the past. Uh, but again, I mean, sometimes I can play for like half an hour, other times it's like 10 minutes. So I like New Leaf once it came out because it's a new mobile game and I can play it on the go. I take it to work with me. I play it on my breaks. Um, just collect bugs. I don't really abuse the island too much because it is so broken. I, my very first town I had, I abused the island and it made the game so easy that I was just kind of like, wow, why, why did I do that? But, you know, after that, I collected everything, had all the items, and then, um, I can't remember what happened, but something happened, I lost my save, and it was really disappointing. I'm like, oh, well, okay, I guess I don't need that, and I, I stopped playing for a little while, uh, not a huge, huge while, but I did stop playing for a little while. Also, I'm going to buy this axe here. I'll take it. Uh, yes. Hmm. Do you know how to use the axe? If you want, I can show you how. I already know, Nook. Hmm, what a pity. It would be fun to show you how the axe works. You are creepy, Tom Nook. Creepy. Also, I'm going to buy this thing. Hmm, a blue kotatsu. It costs 1,600 bells. Quite a bargain, yes. I'll take it. Thanks much. You want to know how you use it? You can hide things in there. Use it with your axe. Be careful. Oh, Tom Nook. Such a lively character. But, yeah. So, New Leaf lost my save. I, it was kind of one of those like, oh, well, I guess I've already beaten the game. And then I played again, and I kind of did some time traveling, because it was in a position where I had time during work to play, but I'm not at work every day. So I would time travel into the future and play kind of day, day by day, or spend like 10, 15 minutes on one day, skip to the next, play a bit on that day, skip to the next, play a bit on that day. You know, that type of thing. And it worked. It wasn't bad. 
Uh, but time traveling is kind of a pain to do. Uh, just over time, obviously. Uh, so it's not something that I really had a really easy time doing. Um, there were quite a few times I just, I played, turned it off. I didn't bother time traveling. I didn't bother setting it back to days I missed. Because that was the other thing I would do. Is set uh, the time back. So, like, this week, if I played Monday, Tuesday, didn't miss, or didn't play Wednesday, played Thursday, um, I would set it back to Wednesday, Instead of Thursday, play Wednesday, set it back to Thursday, play Thursday. But, oh, time traveling just takes so much effort half the time. Especially if you want to do a ton of stuff. So, yeah. I did that. Got everything. Um, I didn't lose my save this time. I just restarted a town. I played for a couple weeks, didn't play, started a new town, played for a couple weeks, didn't play. But now, because I'm playing this series, I really want to play New Leaf again. So I started playing that at work again. And yeah, I'm pretty much just at the same point I am here. I'm just not a couple days ahead. Which, as I, I mentioned before... I am a couple days ahead on this one, which it, it's easier on me because it gives me time to edit and everything before I have to uh, put it on YouTube. If I was doing it like the day of, day before, it wouldn't give me that time. So I am playing it slightly in advance, so time is offset, but... It's not really that huge of a deal. Oh, he was about to get that. and uh, Also, with Pecan, um, I don't have to get the uh, her key. Um, she will get back into her house uh, over time without it. You don't. There's no negative to it. It's just a uh, tool to get you to talk to animals that you haven't talked to for a while. So, there's that. New Leaf, there's like lost items. I don't know. I want to say they're in this game, but I do not know 100%. But New Leaf, there are lost items. You have to go around talking to every villager to ask them, hey, did you lose this? It's kind of a pain, especially if you're trying to get a villager to move out. Then it's like, I don't want to talk to them because the, I'm trying to get them to leave. So you just don't pick up the lost items. So. There's that. There we go. Stupid pond smelt. I do not like them. They're the bane of my existence. This is so friggin' many of them. Okay, scare the fishy. Yeah, I still like the way new fish, or new leaf has the fish. They're much more predictable in that manner. Oh, you annoying little fish. I really, really just want to find the key but it is not working so I am probably try try and catch this one which is probably I want to say either a carp or a uh, black bass stop swimming up slightly you can catch this fish at least try to and then I'm going to uh, cut until I find this key well, I caught a koi that's good anyway I will be right back as I try and find the key so 
I realize I never actually talked to Pecan a second time. And that's when it reveals that they dropped it in the river. So now it should appear. Um, and I still think it's this size, but it could be the tiny size. Could be. But I will be back as I find it. Okay, so <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time now. I have almost caught the key countless, countless times. I didn't realize how hard it was going to be to catch this thing. Because I didn't realize just how quickly you have to pull the, the key in. So let me see if I can find at least two fish. Hopefully one will be the key to demonstrate this. So that's not one of them. That could be potentially one. So unfortunately, the shadow size of the key is exactly the same as the pond smelt. Okay. Two. That's a pond smelt. So, there was that tiny, tiny bit of delay. I have very fast reflexes, but not fast enough. Also... Um, that, which I don't think I've been able to show off yet. A balloon! It's a present. Which I'm going to have to give up a fish. Um, that one. Sure, why not. Pick up the present. Which are dropped by balloons. Open it up. And we have a classic buffet. To be honest, I prefer the things you get in... New Leaf because it's actually a balloon furniture set. Um, I don't know if the balloon set is in this game or not. But I quite like the balloon set. And so I try and collect them. Not hard to collect them, but I do. Okay, what size fish are you? Wrong size. Okay. So as I said, hopefully I can find one more. That's what I'm looking for. Um, and it's going to be the last fish I'm going to try and catch right now. I'm sorry, Pecan, but if I do not catch your key as my next catch, you're not going to get your into your house tonight. So here we go. We have a fish. Let's see if this is the key. Come on, fishy, fishy. There we go. Ooh, come on. Nope, pond smoked. Um, friggin', they, it disappears so, so quickly. Which I have a ton of footage. I don't need to, like, show it off now and be like, yeah, it's, it disappears really fast. I could just show it. But, oh, jeebus. It just... As soon as the lure's down, it is gone. There is there is really no time at all to react to this thing. And you are definitely the wrong one. So, I did say that was the last fish. I'm going to just do a quick check up and down the river. This one time... And if I do not find a fish shadow that matches what I'm looking for, that is it. Luckily, I did. And I freaked out. Okay. Well, I think that... Ooh, one more. I have one more chance. Very last chance. Hopefully. And 
and it's a uh, <laughs> carp. Uh, you know what? No, just just go away. My pockets are full. I cannot keep you. Ugh, the key. The key is like made me really, really wound up. Um, just trying to get it. Oh, I really want to. I really wish I could, because I want to get the gift that I would get by turning it into pecan. But it is not going to happen. Anyway, I'm going to cross this bridge to the final, 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 final look see on the river because I'm on the side of the town hall so I can go to the recycling can recycling bin after this you might be the key might be very sporadic for a normal fish Yep, that's the key. See how fast that goes away? You have barely, barely any time to react. And I was bracing myself for it because it doesn't have a recognizable pattern at all. It can be on the first one, it can be on the second, it can be on the third. No real recognizable pattern at all. Freaking key. It is so horrible. I really wanted to catch it or get it or whatever whatever you would consider it. I really wanted it, but it uh, does not look like it's going to happen. Going to sell off my stuff. Going to visit uh, the bell thing to pay off my loan. Yes, yes. What would you like to sell, Tarrant? Hmm, yes, what? A fish, another fish, a fish, a fish, a fish, a fish, a fish. You have one more fish, Tarrant. I want it. Give it to me. I will give you much money. Tarrant, give me the fish. Tarrant, where are you going? Give it. Give it back. Ugh. I need to turn in my koi. That's the other thing I need to do. Hey, mousey mouse. Turning in my koi to the museum because I'm not gotten that one in here yet which means there's only three fish left that I can get uh, in January but I'm almost there I've I've gotten all the January fish though which is a uh, very nice I don't have to worry about getting any specific ones I'm not going I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on the 20th maybe look for the last three hopefully might only be able to look for two but uh so that's that's a thing i will do unfortunately for my turn up i think i did that wrong Ugh. and screwed it up because i picked it up it was supposed to be left on the ground or you know left inside my house so this is going to sit there okay very, 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 very last, last check of the river. I keep saying that, but you're the key, aren't you, little fishy fish shadow? Fudge crackers in a barrel. Oh. Okay. Anyway, freaking, I really, really want wanted to uh, get the key. I did. I really wanted to get it. Just to be like, Pecan, I got your key. That nah, didn't happen. Here you go. Nook have ten thousand bells. Still need two hundred thirty-eight thousand bells. Pay off my house in the current form. It can take lots of money. I need to. I think that's the other half of the collection day. 
is that's when I get all the monies. You're a bigger fish. Yeah, you're a medium sized fish. I don't care. I don't care about you. I only care about the small fish. Like that one. That's why I'm under the bridge. Don't be a bad fish. Get out here. Oh, that is annoying. The nice thing about New Leaf is if a fish goes under a bridge, your lure will also go under the bridge. Not so much in this game. This game, fish goes under the bridge, you kind of have to wait around. Okay, you little bunny person. Parents, there's something I want to ask you. If I told you I had a bone shirt right now, how much would you pay me for it? Uh, yeah, that much? Hmm, it must not be in high demand then. Yeah, I didn't, didn't offer her enough monies in my scale. Yeah, so whenever they ask you, it's like, oh, how much would you pay for this? They have an item that they want to sell you. If you don't really want it at all, you say, you know, no money or whatever the small one is. If you do want it, you want 10 towards the higher side. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But that's how it works. Uh, anyway, before I get horribly, horribly wrapped up in trying to find the key and fishing and all that, I'm going to end it here for now. This has been Ninja Boy, and I will be back later with more Animal Crossing. See you guys then.